Some people may say that male dogs are more affectionate, or that female dogs tend to be moodier. Little research has been done on the difference in behaviors, and male dogs presented with aggression towards humans, while female dogs presented with aggression towards other dogs. No doggy topic can be more controversial than the comparison between male and female dogs. As a general rule, male dogs tend to be larger than female dogs. This is due to the fact that male dogs have higher levels of testosterone, which can lead to increased muscle mass and bone density. However, there are exceptions to this rule, and some breeds have females that are larger than males. For example, female Great Danes are often larger than male Great Danes. Everyone knows that the pros attached to having a dog on the larger side include greater strength, vigor, athletic abilities, and prowess as an intimidating guard dog. If you also care to know, male dogs have more records when it comes to winning dog competitions. This is largely attributed to their stronger stature and a higher level of endurance. Male dogs tend to be superior in both height and weight. On the flip side, some male dogs can grow to be very large, which can be a problem if space is limited or if the dog is not properly trained or socialized. Comparably, female dogs are typically smaller in size, which falls as an advantage for owners who live in smaller or limited apartment spaces. There are quite some key differences when it comes to measuring their temperaments. Generally, male dogs tend to show more attention and interest in their human companion. They are more energetic and will prefer to play around you all day than to sit alone chewing on a toy. So if you're a fan of attention seekers, maybe you should start considering going for a male dog. Female dogs, on the other hand, have a calmer disposition. Of course, just like the males, they can cuddle around you, but they are more likely to space out and create their own alone time after they've supposedly gotten enough of you. This is largely a result of female dogs having an innate history of being caregivers. So even when there are no kids around, they will display this behavior in anticipation of their puppies. Male dogs can be a bit extra aggressive when it comes to defending your home and your family, even when you're not in danger. They are more concerned about ascertaining their dominance over other dogs than caring for their pup. Because of this, females are considered to be more patient with children and show less aggression. There are some differences in how male and female dogs respond to training. Male dogs can be more stubborn and independent and may require more patience and persistence during training. Female dogs are often more eager to please their owners and may be easier to train as a result. As males are biologically slower to mature, the majority of male dogs tend to be more difficult to train than the females. Males tend to have a lower attention span, less focused, more distracted, and a bit harder to house train. And because they are known to often assert their dominance, they can get extra challenging and more vocal amidst training, giving their owners a hard time. Females tend to be more focused and steadfast during training. They attain maturation faster, which explains why they can pick up on training from a more tender age than their male counterparts. A female temperament tends to be more focused and not as vocal. All these factors add up to females being trained faster than males, and they can housebreak easier. Despite all of these, records have shown that males still show more expertise and are more victorious when it comes to games and competitions. This goes to show that a female dog might be easier to train, but a male, if properly and completely trained, displays more excellence. Not surprisingly, their sexuality plays a big role in the way both of these genders react to their external environment. Female dogs who are still intact go through what is known as a heat cycle, which they undergo approximately two times a year. During each of these cycles, you as the owner have to know exactly what to look out for. During this period, they tend to be unyielding, may become more agitated and restless, may attract unwanted attention from male dogs, and might run off occasionally if not carefully watched. You might need to keep the female confined in order to prevent unaltered males from making their way to her. Females also tend to release bloody discharge during their heat period, so you might as well make adequate preparations for that. Luckily, the males do not go through all these dramas, as they don't go into heat like their females, but rather, their sexuality predisposes them to aggression, especially towards other male dogs. They are also more likely to hump objects or other dogs. Some of the humpings may be the result of too much excitement, too much pent-up energy, or an attempt to exert dominance. There are a lot of health issues that are peculiar to dogs in general, and some of these health issues are even more specific based on breeds. Some others are related to their nutrition, lifestyle, and collective health maintenance regime. Please check out our video on common dog health issues for more information. 
However, there are certain disease conditions that affect a dog based on their gender, so it's important to take note of this as to what to look out for and what to expect. Male dogs are more prone to certain health issues, such as testicular cancer and prostate problems, and also conditions that produce cysts and infections. Female dogs have their own share of health issues as their genetic makeup predisposes them to developing conditions like mammary tumors, uterine cancers, and reproductive issues such as pyometra. Spaying or neutering can help reduce the risk of these health issues, as well as prevent unwanted litters. However, it's important to discuss the potential risks and benefits with a veterinarian before making a decision. Spaying and neutering are surgical procedures that involve the removal of the reproductive organs of dogs. Spaying is the removal of the ovaries and uterus of a female dog, while neutering is the removal of the testicles of a male dog. Here are some pros and cons of spaying and neutering that you should consider. The advantages of spaying and neutering include 1. Prevention of unwanted puppies This procedure helps to prevent unwanted puppies that can end up in animal shelters or on the streets, where they can be at risk. 2. Prevention of reproductive-related health problems Spaying can prevent reproductive-related health problems such as ovarian and uterine cancer and pyometra, while neutering can prevent reproductive-related health problems such as testicular cancer and prostate problems in males. 3. Reduced behavior problems Spaying can reduce behavior problems such as aggression, territorial marking, and roaming. As with any surgical procedure, there is a risk of complications during and after the surgery. Spaying and neutering can increase the risk of certain health problems such as obesity, urinary incontinence, and hypothyroidism. There are also records of specific changes in behavior, such as increased lethargy and decreased interest in play. Both procedures aim at removing the reproductive organs. However, spaying is a much more complex procedure than neutering. Females have a longer recovery time and are at higher risk of complications. Spaying is also a more costly procedure when put side by side with neutering in males.